Okay, well, let's get ready for the exciting conclusion of Keelan versus Keppelman. Welcome back to Politics Tonight. I'm WGN TV political analyst Paul Lisnick. I'm visiting with the uh, two candidates who are going vying for the 46th Ward Aldermanic seat. Molly Feeling here in the newsroom. James Kaplan over at Trip Tower. Molly, I, I was uh, doing my homework and uh, reading a, an article uh, that interviewed both you and James in it. And there was a quote from you in there that it, it gave me pause. So I want to ask you about the quote, uh, see if you stand by it, and I'm going to give James a chance to respond to it, which articles don't let you do, right? So it was talking about um, uh, police and safety, that kind of thing. And here's what you said. You said, quote, the big difference between Mr. Kaplan and me is that I'm committed to spending $1.3 million to put more police on our streets. Phelan said, referring to your discretionary aldermanic controlled funds, Mr. Kaplan wants to spend it on decorator flower pots and benches. So, is, is that what you said? Do you stand by it? We'll get James' response. Yes, I did stand by that. Um, that is a uh, he, one of uh, Mr. Kaplan's mailers uh, during the uh, original election talked about $1.3 million and how he'd want to spend that on um, street, streetscaping and uh, flower boxes. Um, the issue is not when I'm out talking to voters what streetscape, you know, about streetscaping and flower boxes, it's about crime and business development. And my objective is to address the issues that the voters are bringing to me, and the number one issue is crime. Okay, James, so there it is. Would you rather spend the money on flower boxes and huh. streetscapes? Well, let's, let's look at the, uh, Molly's plan. First of all, uh, you were not allowed to use uh, menu funds to pay for police. It's, it's, uh, it's a capital budget issue. It, the menu funds can only be used for fixed items that will last a year or more. The other thing that, that concerns me, though, is it's a quick fix solution to uh, something that we need that's more permanent, and that is we need more police on the streets. And I have a plan in place to ensure that we get police back on the streets. But the other thing that really concerns me about Molly's plan is this ward has... Uh, streets with all kinds of potholes, cracked sidewalks, we need more lighting. We need those kinds of things to bring in businesses into the ward that's sorely needed to fill these empty storefronts, to bring in jobs into this ward. That's the kind of thing that we need, and, and that's what I want to use that word menu funds. It's its, it's intended purpose. And l let me ask you, when we talk about aldermanic funds, I, I, people may or may not know that the aldermen each have a pretty hefty budget uh, of discretionary funds to use as they as they would. James, I'll ask you this time, uh, the first I know you have a master plan. You've identified a master plan for development, uh, but then you come down to some of those, you know, key issues, the potholes on the street, which you drive around this city drives me crazy. Yes. Um, how would you use those aldermanic funds uh, that are in your discretion? Would you take a, a lesson from Joe Moore and let your constituents decide how they want you to have it spent? That's what Joe does. I, I love the, the way that Joe Moore has, has used... Uh, the, uh, the public to, to make help make decisions about things that directly affect them. And that's already been a part of my plan. It was a part of my plan in 2007. It's a part of my plan in 2011. I'll be creating a ward um, uh, zoning development committee. And uh, part of what that means is I will be having residents on this committee that will give some direction <clears throat> about how to use... Yeah, I'm uh, sure you've got some lined up. All right, Molly, and your thought about how would you, how would you use... Aldermanic funds. If in fact James is right that it, that, that that particular money can't go yeah. for the cops on the street. Well, what he doesn't understand is that you can work in conjunction with the SSAs, and the SSAs by law are allowed to use that money, use their money for security forces within the commercial districts, which is where all of our hotspots are. So again, when the major issue that voters are talking about is crime. We're not going to get businesses into our neighborhood unless we can solve the crime issue. Every neighborhood has pothole issues and so on and so forth. Our main issue in Uptown right now in the 46th Ward is the fact that we're only talked about in the news because of the shootings that are going on. If crime is not our first priority, the businesses will not come. That is why my money is going to be anyway. spent primarily on resolving the crime issues that we have. I also want to work um, with... Uh, Commissioner Bridget Gaynor, uh, who has recently found money for the ceasefire program. Unfortunately, there's only one year to um, for funding for that. I want to make sure that we are able to, if the program is successful, uh, to provide more funding for ceasefire in the long term as well. Okay. Now, the problem with that is the SSA funds only covers about 10% of the ward. That leaves 90% of the ward uh, left without uh, addressing those problems that need to be addressed. But again, mm. those, we need to those, focus on those, the entire ward. But those S the SSAs cover many of the hotspots that we're dealing with. And again, and when, we're, when we're talking areas. about reduction in police forces across the entire city, we have to be aggressive in dealing with those I issues. I go to B-2311 CAPS meetings, and I know those residents have yeah, 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 great yeah. concerns about some of the areas that are not in the SSA uh, district. And my concern is that we just have to go to break. So, <laughs> um, but I did want to
want both of you to have a chance to say what you needed to say. And we're going to be right back with this lively discussion. We're looking at the next alderman of the 46th Ward. It's one of those two people.